And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Cheap Ludes and his Sunday's best. Sunday best? Sunday's best? I guess that's like plural, so that's that's better, I suppose. Oh, it's time to talk about the market in NBA 2K22. My team. First off, you haven't put in the metamorphosis locker code. <laughs> It's awful. You can get five tokens. It's pretty cool. Or a uh, diamond boost, which is probably going to be like plus four offensive consistency, which like I would like to know if anyone's ever actually um, added the plus four offensive consistency to any of the cards. Before we talk about the market, let's talk about the cheap card, cheap cards, the free cards that we have. I'm just stumbling all over myself today. Chris Weber. Honestly, Chris Weber isn't bad. Like he's he's actually kind of good. Now I will say the you know process of getting Chris Weber is kind of annoying. I, I will say that, but he's not terrible, um, especially if you're doing like a no money spent thing. You know he's good. Win ten triple threat offline games. Win six triple threat online. Five clutch time and three unlimited. In six and a half days is a little bit much, but like. He's got base 22 on quick, like fundamental dribble style is not great, but overall he's pretty good. Like he's a pretty good power forward. He of course doesn't have chef or limitless spot up because why would he at this point? <laughs> Look at Vince Carter's face. Plus you need him if you're trying to get Vince Carter. And I mean, Vince Sanity looks good. He does. Is he worth the amount of effort you're gonna have to go through? Um, I would say no. And the reason I would say that is like, Ray Allen exists. Uh, who are other guys that are a lot less effort than him to get? Um, I mean, RJ Barrett and Cam Reddish, both those guys exist. Evan Mobley exists. There's just so many good shooting guard small forwards that you can grab. Now, that being said, Vince Carter is nasty. Like, Vince Carter on very quick is good. He's got shifty dribble style with Pippen, like, behind the back and stuff. Like, he's fire. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just... <sighs> I'm just annoyed you have to play 20 domination games, which is already <clears throat> roughly about on the conservative end, 10 hours worth of gameplay. And then you got to sit there and do all these challenges as well, which is super annoying. Um, 25 multiplayer assists and rebounds and points like they aren't terrible, but they're just annoying to have to do. In addition, you have to do all this stuff for Chris Weber. So it turns from like what I assumed was going to be like a, 20 hour grind into like a 40 hour grind which is kind of annoying not 40 hours is a little bit hard i would say 30 maybe regardless i'm not good at math leave me alone we got new packs today we got the metamorphosis packs let your inner butterfly shine these packs were horrible odds wise like realistically um but the cards in them were all awesome like every single one of them is pretty good. Yes, even Kevin Duckworth. Kevin Duckworth legitimately might be the best budget center in the game. I'm being dead serious. Like, I'm not trolling at all. The odds are terrible. I mean, when you open them, you're probably going to get this. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be bad, though. It's a. Uh, I got Brandon Jennings and Gogo BT Yatsa or whatever. Um, either way, I mean, the odds are not good. So I, I just wouldn't open them. If I were you, yeah, I got Oscar Robertson out of the free challenge pack. So, you know, but let's go into the cards and talk about them in depth real quick before we get into the actual market. Kevin MFing Duckworth. Okay. Kevin Duckworth is a very interesting case study. So he has, by the way, did you guys know that Kevin Duckworth has his own jump shot base in the game? I didn't know that. Out of all the players who don't have their own release, you know, Tracy Brady doesn't have his own release. Um, you know, there's very, there's a bunch of big names that really don't have their own release. But for some reason, Kevin Duckworth has his own release. It's just interesting. Um, once you Evo Kevin Duckworth, I mean, right off the bat, dude, he's not bad. Like, he's seven feet tall. He's pretty big. 275. He's a unit. You know what I mean? 7'4 wingspan, which is pretty good, too. He has a... Kevin Duckworth upper is super funny. I might run into a, into free-for-all and just show it off at the end. But they give him jump shot 56, which is the Middleton release, on very quick. And it ends up being really good. And he already comes standard with some pretty decent badges. He has no shooting badges whatsoever, but he's got a bunch of like defensive and rebounding badges and finishing badges. Like He requires some badging up for sure, but he's really not that bad. And I have a hollow one, so be jealous. 
you can only give them three badges, which is kind of a problem, I would say. But I mean, if you give them like, you know, some rudimentary basic badges, like let's say you give them catch and shoot. Um, I don't think he has hot zone. So hot zone hunter, I wouldn't really recommend. Um, let's say you give him catch and shoot sniper and then another shooting badge. He actually becomes relatively good. Like Kevin Duckworth is kind of decent. And is he worth spending 800 tokens on? Yeah, especially if you're trying to build an all-time Blazers team. They don't have a rich history of big men outside of Greg Oden and Marcus Aldridge and Bill Walton. But Bill Walton's always a reward. So it's like, can you grind for it? You know, Duckworth is okay. Then we got Trey Murphy. Shout out to Trey Murphy base. Another guy who for some reason has his own base, um, which is, well, I mean, it's jump shot 67. It's Trey Murphy base. Um, once you Evo him, which isn't hard, by the way, it's 20 points in a single game. He ends up getting Trey Burke release on quick with the 118 upper, which no one else has in the game, which is very interesting. Uh, Trey Murphy actually turns into an actual beast. Like he gets shifty dribble style with like the Kyrie behind the back, which I don't personally like, but the Tatum crossover is okay. Like Trey Murphy turns into an actual demon, like for budget card, like six foot eight, downhill quick first step like a very good badge combination right here like what he's got going on here he's got gold limitless like he can run the small forward very well if we have to use diamond small forwards for any reason and limited coming up like trey murphy is going to be an absolute staple because this man has elite six in my opinion he's good trey murphy's fire dude like also look he's got a little afro that's super tight i always rep people with afro then we got javel Big JaVale starts with base 31, which actually is the Eddie Jones Sadiq Bay release, which I actually like quite a bit. Um, scoring 20 points in a game basically just makes it go on very quick, which like JaVale has a 79 three pointer. Like it's not terrible. JaVale is actually really good as well. Like he might be a little bit better than Duckworth even because he's a little bit better on the badge front and he comes standard with like catch and shoot and set shooter with Hoff rim protector javel is actually surprisingly good like you would be shocked how good javel actually is i just realized how much i look like uncle rico right now <laughs> ah. oh man javel's fire though i mean if you can get him for cheap like if you can go secure like a bid snipe javel for like under 2000 mt which i think you can just straight up outright buy him for under 2000 mt but that's absolutely worth it like javel is very good for a budget center, he's incredible. I mean, if you got the MT, I would still go with someone like, you know, Pau Gasol or even Ibaka if you can. But Javel is a very, very good card. It's weird saying that. Rudy Fernandez. Rudy is a Trey Murphy clone off the rib. Um, and then he ends up uh, turning into a little Steph Curry clone. He basically turns into his card last year. He gets a uh, shifty dribble style. He gets like Kobe's like escape and combo. Uh, Pippen behind the back, which they're going to give to everybody. It's just going to be Pippen and Damian Lillard behind the back from this point forward for any meta card for sure. Um, the leaner pro three. I don't know. So I'm not that well versed on the leaners because I don't play on next gen. You can't really hit fades on uh, current gen. Realistically, I mean, you can shoot them, but they're actually like a part of the game on next gen on current gen. Basically, no one shoots them. So either way, Rudy's pretty good, but he does have some huge downfalls right off the bat. Like he doesn't really have very many shooting badges on Hoff. He has catch and shoot and sniper, which are good ones. Uh, he doesn't come with uh, limitless or chef, which is super irritating uh, right off the bat. Also, all his defensive badges are gold. But here's the paramount issue with with uh, Rudy Fernandez. And I've, I'm honestly kind of offended. His tendencies aren't bad, but like. 89 lateral quickness is fine but like 88 speed 88 acceleration 88 speed with ball in this era with these shooting guards that we have oh no 88 perimeter defense ew yuck like yeah what why did you do my man rudy fernandez like that i mean he wasn't like the most world-class athlete in the world at this point or like at any point realistically but i mean let's look at some random guys right like i guarantee his speed or yeah, his speed stats are the same as Kyle Korver. Come on, that's not fair. Why are you doing my man like that? Like, he's got the same speed as, like, Kyle Korver, Evan Fournier. Like, come on, these are guys that are not exactly known for their peak athleticism. You know what I mean? Disrespectful to my man, Rudy Fernandez. Yeah, speaking of which, when are we getting a Mario Hizonia card? 
That was my boy. I really thought he was going to take the lead by storm. So did the Magic, but it is what it is. Then we got Brandon Jennings. Once again, another Trey Murphy clone. It's like 2K knew they messed up. So he actually switches and turns into Trey Young. That's what he does. He essentially turns into the upgraded Trey Young, basically. Um, he's got catch and shoot, limitless spot up, sniper, like some good off badges for sure. Brandon Jennings is going to be an elite level, super fun offline card to pick up. And the fact that you can get this card for dirt cheap, like you can get it for like 2000 MT. And he's absolutely worth that, I would say for sure. Especially, I mean, you have to do a challenge for the Ray Allen thing where you have to win a game with 13 bucks players. So it's like, why not just use this one at this point? You know what I mean? You know, and then he also gets some quick dribble style. He gets like all Kyrie and Zach Levine's moves, which like whatever. I'm just happy they gave my boy Brandon Jennings a solid enough card. I'm just, I'm just happy about that. Because that last card that he had was trash. I didn't think Trey Murphy base was that terrible, but it doesn't really, it's not reflective of Brandon Jennings as a player. Eddie Curry. Shout out to Eddie Curry, dog. Bulls legend. Eddie Curry is actually pretty good once you even you score 30 points in the game, I believe, with Eddie Curry, and he actually turns into a like a legit budget center. Seven foot tall, 295, just a unit, covered in sick tattoos. You love to see it. He's got Hall of Fame brick wall. He sets very effective screens. Catch and shoot, corner specialist. Like, he's got good badges for sure. Scoring 30 points in a game. He's actually got decent athleticism for a big man, too. Like, 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 88 verticals. Decent. Um, 96 strength. You're not moving, my man, in the paint. It's not happening. The ball handle is really the only thing that leaves him to be desired, I suppose, but... It's not that point in the year where we're going to be ball handling with Eddie Curry. But he does get the Dolph Shays base, base 38 on very quick. Uh, they also give him shifty dribble style with all Kyrie's dribble moves. So, like, if you boost up his uh, his ball handle, he's got a 76 ball handle. If you give him a plus, what, yeah, plus four brings him up to 80, then he's got a, uh, yeah, no, he can move. He, he can move. He needs a few badges, though, like for sure. But Eddie Curry can actually move as a big man. And I feel like a lot of people haven't really like reckoned with this. I haven't really seen anyone hyping Eddie Curry yet, which is weird because like he's a big man with shifty dribble style and like good dribble moves, which is like we haven't really seen that yet. I don't think like is there another one that is there another big man that has shifty that I can think of and that has like Kyrie's dribble moves? I mean, cousins but i don't think he has the dribble moves to really pair with it properly I mean, he's got lucas behind the back and like uh, cousins can kind of move too actually i didn't really realize that either way eddie curry spire for his price straight up like he is then we're gonna go over here to billups i evoed billups up first just because it's been so long since we've had an elite level chauncey billups um in the beginning of 2K21, his pink diamond was really good. He was like a top tier point guard, at least I think, in like the first couple months, about first month, until uh, Stockton came out. Chauncey gets base 98 on quick, which I think base 98 is a little bit overblown this year, but it is on very quick, so it is what it is. He gets trip, trip, he gets quick dribble style. That's how you know I'm real. I leave the flubs, I leave the mess ups in the videos because I'm a man of the people. And also, I'm super lazy and not that good at editing. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, quick dribble style, like Scotty Pippen hesitation. Scotty Pippen moving behind the back. Chauncey actually has the Scotty behind the back off rip. Yeah, I mean, Chauncey legit is insanely good. Uh, he's still a little bit small at 6'3", but I mean, catch and shoot, dimer, pickpocket, clamp, circus threes. He's got Chef on Hoff as well. Quick first step. 75 driving dunks, not terrible, realistically. He plays lockdown defense like he's altogether super good. I mean, comparing him to Kyle Lowry, for example, like he's literally better than Kyle Lowry. That's just that's it. Big Manu. Manu is a top five. I would say he's a top five point guard in this game. On next gen for sure. Yeah. I think Axum base really isn't quite as good as it was last year which is typically the case. I mean, the only release that's every single year about as good as it always is, is like Trey Burke base. Like 
Base 98 and X and Base are going to continue to be good releases, but I don't think they're top tier. Like, Base 3 is the release this year, you know what I mean? But people are finicky, you know what I mean? It could also have really to do with just, like, fatigue. Like, I'm tired of saying how tight X and Base is, so I'm going to say other jump shots are cooler. Either way, I mean, he gets scotty pippen behind the back x and base on quick and he's already relatively good like six foot six also this is manu with hair by the way in the player build in the game which is dope uh catch and shoot hyper drive dimer quick chain limitless handles for days quick first step sniper like floor general which is really good you don't expect to see him with that but he does um he even has gold chef and stuff too there's not really much he doesn't have like yeah you want to give him i guess room protector and brick wall on current gen it really doesn't matter don't listen to content creators and like 95 percent of content creators play on next gen they don't even play on current gen outside of like you know guys who are like comp level and they'll sit there and swear up and down that you need to put rim protector and brick wall on your point guards and for 98 percent of the games you play it's really not going to come into effect i'm just going to say that now um green machine i would definitely give him for sure you're going to be greening this jump shot quite a bit limitless takeoff 100 he's got an ad driving dunk so he can engage some dunk animations for sure but those are really the only two i would say posterizer i guess that are like absolute necessities you know what i mean manu's fire and you're able to get him for around like 60k right now which i think is a deal for the point guard we went from like the only or not the only but the real best point guard under 100k being k to having two guys today that you could argue are just as good if not better and that would be manu and then uh i'll talk about the next one in a second scotty mf and barnes dog i'm really excited about scotty barnes um the reason i'm excited is because i like scotty barnes and i mean you guys knew i ran his diamond for a while his new year's resolution card with base 11 i liked it he comes standard with base 11 on normal, which sucks. I kind of want to see base 11 on like quick or very quick. They should have at least just made it very quick. I would have still used the card. Um, score 40 points in a game and he turns into a John Wall clone, <laughs> which is uh, interesting. So the Sweat Lords are going to love Scotty Barnes combination of defense, athleticism and shooting ability. No question about it. I mean, realistically, every person would like that. I mean, those are good things to have. Um, the one thing I will say is I don't think he's too small at 6'7", but I think some people do for the small forward, and he doesn't come with very many shooting badges. You do have to badge Scotty Barnes up. Like, you need to give him Chef. You need to give him Deadeye. Um, sniper, he's going to miss a lot of whites until he gets that. So, I don't know. Scotty's fire, though. If he's a buyout, which I think he is. I'd have to check, though. I'll check at the end of the video. I think he's worth it. Big O. Shout out to Big O, dude. I'm so excited that we got an actual Oscar Robertson card so tight six five but he looks way bigger than that in game anyone who's played with big o will tell you he looks significantly bigger than that in game that's how it always is in 2k i don't know why that's the case but it is all day i'm gonna put this card up for like i'm gonna try to pick him up for like 40k just see what no that's too high i'm trying to make some mt out here just to throw a 30 i mean if i can get him for 30k whatever 33 you Y'all are really doing me like this, huh? Okay, what's the amount then? All right, I'm over it. doesn't matter. Anyways, Oscar Robertson, good. Once you Evo him, which is 40 points in a game, very doable. Just go do one of the uh, like NBA 75 challenges or whatever they are this time. I kind of forgot. Quick dribble style. He's got Damian Lillard's behind the back, but he gets jump shot 49, so he turns into like uh, OJ Mayo or the game clone. <laughs> I love saying that part. On very quick, it's an elite level jump shot. He already comes standard with like a good like plethora of badges. Catch and shoot, hyperdrive, clamps, quick chain, blinders, limitless spot up. Wish he had Chef on Hoff, but it is what it is. Um, he does not have Chef. That's the one thing I will say though. So you do have to give him Chef, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. Then we got Big Zion. I mean Zion's. He's got base three. Like he's fire. I. The same people that will tell you that Oscar, or not Oscar Robertson, but Scotty Barnes. You can tell I just got off work, dude. I'm <laughs> so tired. Uh, the same people that will tell you that Scotty Barnes is too small to play the small forward will run Zion Williamson. So it's interesting. Now let's look at some guys that may have taken a hit. I don't think many cards really took a hit due to this set, to be honest. Like, I, I don't. But let's look. AD is up in price. 
So if you bought AD when he was like 70K, you can make some MT off him now. He's closer to like 80 now. Not very much MT, but if you just hold him for another couple of weeks, you'll make MT off of it. In addition to that, uh, Timmy D is back up in price. Um, both of them, the power within specifically, I believe is back up in price. Uh, he's actually down. I mean, I got him for 50K and I still think he's worth 70K, no question. Like he's insane on both gens. I, I don't care. He's so good. I just don't think many cards are really dropping in price. Dwayne Wade, I think, is one of the cards that I'm actually surprised he hasn't dropped in price, but this is one of the guys who I would say, yeah, he would drop in price, but he hasn't, which is kind of interesting. Just because we got Oscar and Manu today, which are kind of like very similar to what he brings to the table. So I just kind of expected him to drop a little bit, but kind of surprising that he hasn't. Where is... Why can't I search for Scotty Pippen? This is just like not a thing anymore. <laughs> All right, whatever. Ben Wallace has dropped a little bit. I mean, if you want him, go pick him up, but it's not really necessary. You know what I mean? Shout out to Evan Mobley. I thought he was going to go up in price. I'm seeing that he hasn't, but I think he will go up in price as the weeks go by. Now, shooting badges should be up at least a little bit for people grabbing Scotty Barnes, but most of them are going to be wanting to grab hoff badge versions anyway so it doesn't really matter but i mean if you have any of the quote unquote meta shooting badges i mean they're shooting badges they're all kind of meta but if you have any of them it's not a bad idea to uh put them out in the universe you know especially if you have like chef because there's a couple different cards that are going to look for chef you know what i mean so it it is what it is other than that we do have some cards that have gone up in value a little bit let's let's chalk those up here Where's my boy Malik Beasley? I know he's expensive right now. He's not actually that expensive, and he's definitely like a prerequisite, I would say, for running limited this week. Yeah, I would say no no question you should run Malik Beasley for limited. I'm going to buy both of these and put them back up, <clears throat> make a little empty, because Malik Beasley is so far and away one of the best gold shooting guards in this game. There's no question that you should definitely be running Malik Beasley. Uh, he's going to be nasty all weekend long. He can just move really, really well, and he's got three hot badges for a gold, which is stupid. You know what I mean? He's got catch and shoot, ankle breaker, green machine, corner specialist, and quick chain on gold, like sniper on gold, hot zone with good hot zones, uh, limitless spot up and chef on bronze, which is fine for an all gold melee throwdown. Like it's not really that big of a deal. You know what I mean? Uh, I highly recommend going to get uh, James Boogie Knight. Um, definitely want to go pick him up as well. It's going to make limited at least slightly easier, or it's just going to make it the same because everyone's going to run James Boogie Knights all night. Look, realistically, no cards really took a hit due to this set. The market is up right now. So if you have any cards that you picked up for the cheap the other day and you want to get rid of them, now's a good time. Um, guys that were a little bit cheap that are going for more now, Evan Mobley, he was like 25K. Now he's going for a bit more than that. So want to take a look at him for sure. Um, Kareem's Kareem. He didn't really go up or anything. Dwayne Wade's way up, like especially the power within version power within version is way up he was like 70k the other day now he's like 100 um let's see maxed out guys i don't think any of them are really up i think rj barrett is up from what he was at but it's not very much it's definitely not enough to really like justify going to pick him up i kind of forgot patrick ewing exists to be honest <laughs> the nba 75 guys aren't really up look at all the dolphs there was like a ton of dolphs yesterday and now there's two <laughs> everyone loves scary terry everyone loves scary terry it is what it is and he'll probably be that way for a while realistically i should have bought bob pettit when he was 30k that was such a mistake now i'm never gonna hoop with bob pettit you guys really love to see me oh i love to see me in pain as always it's been your boy cheap ludes i'll be back with more content tomorrow i'm just kind of exhausted so i don't really want to do anything else for the rest of the night so uh i'll see you guys tomorrow peace